Hey guys, today I am branching out and making some new content. Hey, <laughs> pun intended. Yes, today I am diving into making some knife videos per your guys' request, and I'm very excited about this. Now, my name's Dan, you're watching Guns and Guitars, and my channel is all about helping you have the most fun for the least amount of money, and we can all agree that having a dull knife is no fun. So, before I get started on making videos about like the best budget knives, or like buyer's guides on how to get the best deals on knives, or knife making and knife customizing, I thought that it would be best to start off with a series of videos of how to make your knives razor sharp and keep them that way because having a decent blade is definitely beneficial but a far more critical skill is being able to put a razor sharp edge on your knife because I don't care what kind of super steel your knife is made out of eventually it is going to get dull and you actually find out down the road that you will save a ton of money buying your knives used with a blunted edge on it because the person who owned it previously didn't know how to keep it sharp so the knowledge of being able to put a razor sharp edge on a dull knife is actually going to save you a lot of money in the long run so if you've been having trouble putting a razor sharp edge on your knives I'm going to tell you why and what you need to do to fix that in this video. I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, let's get started. All right guys, starting with the drawing board, let's pretend we are looking at our knife from an angle like this. This particular knife, the Ontario Utilitac 2, probably one of the best budget everyday carry blades you can get, has a really nice saber clip point grind. Now, I'll show you what a saber grind is. Most knives start out as a piece of bar stock like this. A saber grind starts about midway up the blade and has what's called a hollow grind. So it curves in like that, okay, on both sides. This is called the primary bevel. Then at the very top, they put on their secondary bevel and that's your cutting edge. And the very tip top of that bevel is what's called the apex. So let's zoom in on that secondary bevel. Now the key to maintaining a wicked sharp blade is to make this apex stand as tall as possible. Also, this bevel right here needs to be smooth and shiny as possible. Now what happens over time as you use your knife is that this will wear down and become dull. Or worse yet, sometimes your blade will even fold over on itself like this. Either way, you cannot use a knife with an apex like this or like this. So what we need to do is grind it back down so we have a nice tall apex and then we need to polish the bevel. The reason why having a polished bevel is so important is one, it's gonna make sure you have the smallest burr possible on your apex and we'll talk more about the burr there in a second. But two, having a rough bevel is gonna create more friction when you're cutting. More friction means you need to push harder on your apex and that's what's gonna cause it to wear out faster and round over faster. So when we're sharpening our knife, the most important thing when we are running it across the whetstone is that we maintain this perfect angle at all times, okay? Obviously, if you do too shallow of an angle, you're gonna be grinding away right here and you're not gonna to be touching the apex at all. Now, a common mistake that most people do when they're sharpening a knife, especially on a whetstone, is that they'll do too steep of an angle, which will sharpen the knife. You'll take a chunk out like this and a chunk out like this, and you will create a more shallow apex, but it will be sharp. The problem is, next time you go to sharpen it, you're likely either going to, again, hit this side right here, or you're gonna have to make it an even steeper angle and go like this. And obviously, the more you do that over time, you're eventually gonna end up with a blade that is far more jacked up than when you started. And once you get to this point where your entire bevel is a rounded hump, the only thing you can do is reprofile it all the way back to the beginning, removing far more material than necessary. Doing this will decrease the lifespan of your knife big time because you're removing far more material than you need to because you're making up for mistakes that you've done in the past. So it really is critical that you maintain this perfect angle every single time. Luckily, we have some budget-friendly tools that will help us do that very consistently. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that as you are grinding away, 
the edge is gonna start rolling over a little bit on the other side, and that's gonna create what's called a burr. Now, the size of the burr is gonna be dependent on how coarse the stone is. A coarser stone is gonna run up a larger burr which is why you need to start with a coarser grit and work your way up to a finer grit. Because as you grind it away, you're gonna start working this over. You're eventually gonna have your apex, but you're gonna be left again with a really tall burr. So you'll need to step it up to a finer grit stone and work again on this side, and you won't be removing near as much. You're just gonna be folding that burr back over this way, but it's gonna be a finer burr. And all the time that we're doing this, we are polishing our bevel. Every time we step up to a finer grit, we're gonna be polishing our bevel and we're gonna be reducing the size of our burr. Then we'll step it up again and again, polish it again, and we're gonna end up with an even smaller burr and then an even smaller burr. And once we get down to the smallest burr possible, we're gonna to try to make it stand up on edge. And that's what's gonna give us our amazing razor sharp cutting ability. We're gonna have a super fine burr right there at the very tip and it's gonna be as small as possible and it's gonna stand up as straight as possible. So like I said, this is going to do the cutting and this is going to decrease the friction so we don't have to put as much pressure on this, therefore allowing this to last much longer. Now, if after watching this video, you're still a little bit confused on the practical application of how to do this, then definitely check out my video over here on how to use the Lansky multi-angle sharpening system. This is one of the best budget methods available and is absolutely foolproof. You cannot screw this up. If you do it right, you will actually get a razor sharp edge every single time. And like I mentioned earlier, being able to put a razor sharp edge on a knife is actually going to save you a lot of money in the long run. So definitely check out my playlist over here on my top three best budget methods for maintaining a sharp edge.